Hello, Mick Maloney here in Bangkok. And it's uh, interesting to say the least to be communicating to you all from a 12,000 mile distance. I'm delighted today uh, to sing a song that is one of the many songs written on the theme of resistance to British or colonial rule uh, that exist in the Irish tradition. That tradition goes way back to the 15th and 16th century to the Gaelic language when the poets of the bardic orders were dispossessed and they wrote very bitterly a number of great poems and many of them turned into songs uh, on the theme of, uh, of resistance to, to the colonization of Ireland at that time. Um, as there was a language shift with the Anglicisation of Ireland, particularly in the East Coast, a lot of the songs were written in the English language. And there was a huge body of song that was created on the theme of the United Irishmen uh, of the 1790s. Now, these were people who were decisively inspired by two great revolutions at the time, the American Revolution and the French Revolution, which campaigned, and to this day we see their influence, for human rights, for the vote for all, for individual liberty, and uh, the overthrow, in one case, of a, of a colonial order, and the other, uh, of, a, of a corrupt monarchy. So in the 1790s, an organization called the United Irishmen uh, campaigned vigorously for human rights for all. They were very much uh, acting against the interests of their own social class because the leaders of the United Irishmen were, for the most part, Protestants. And this song is about those particular Protestants that gave up their lives uh, for what they believed in in the 1790s. Uh, they're mentioned in the song called By Memory Inspired, which was written by one of the most famous figures in Irish literature and poetry in the 20th century, but largely forgotten now, a man called Padraig Cullum. And he was born in very humble circumstances in a, in a workhouse in County Longford, really born penniless. Uh, but he became uh, an eminent author. He became a nationalist. He wrote over 61 books, and that's not to mention the plays he wrote and the articles that he wrote and the songs that he wrote. He wrote a very famous Irish song called She Moved Through the Fair. He divided his time between England, Ireland, Paris, where he became friends with James Joyce and, and wrote a book on that, and America. He taught in Columbia University and the City University of New York, and in fact, when he died at the age of 90, he died in Connecticut. He wrote the song by memory inspired, naming a lot of the people who died for their, for their beliefs in, in, the, in the 1798 rebellion. Uh, there were people like uh, William Orr, uh, who was uh, a weaver, uh, people like um, Oliver Bond, uh, who worked in the woolen trade, uh, John and Henry Shears, who were both barristers, very eminent barristers in Dublin, uh, Robert Emmett, who was the, the son of a, a famous Dublin physician, and Lord Edward Fitzgerald, who was the son of the Duke of Leinster. Uh, these are all mentioned in the song by memory inspired. They were mighty men. And, uh, and they paid the ultimate sacrifice. Joining me on, on this song is the wonderful Athena Turgus uh, in Italy and uh, the wonderful accordion player. I've been playing with him for uh, nearly 50 years now, originally from Brooklyn, Bill McComiskey in, in Baltimore. By memory inspired. By memory inspired and by love of country fired, the deeds of men I love to dwell upon. And the patriotic glow of my memory will be stowed. A tribute to brave men that are gone, boys gone. Here's a tribute to brave men that are gone. In 1797, may his soul find rest in heaven. William Orr to execution was led on. For a jury drunk agreed that Irish was his creed. And rhymes and treachery led them on, boys on. Here's a tribute to brave men that are gone. In 98 July, the informer's pay was high. When Reynolds gave the scaffold, brave McCann. But McCann was Reynolds first. One could not allay his thirst. So he gave up bonds and that are gone, boys gone. Here's a tribute to brave men that are gone. And we saw a nation's tears shed for John and Henry Shears. 
betrayed by Judas, Captain Armstrong. We may forgive, but yet we never can forget the fate of Tone and Emmett and our convoys gone. Here's a tribute to brave men that are gone. How did Lord Edward die like a man without a sigh? But he left his handiwork a major swan. But sir, with steel clad breast and a coward's heart at best, he gave us cause to mourn Lord Edward and his convoys gone. Here's a tribute to brave men that are gone. September 18-3, end of this cruel tyranny, when Emmett's blood the scaffold rained upon. Our heroes die that we might yet find liberty, so here's a tribute to brave men that are gone, boys gone. Here's a tribute to brave men that are gone.